Hi friends, welcome back to Jimin Core YouTube channel. This is the 25th video in the uh, library management system development tutorial series. And uh, in the last video, we have seen how to delete a book from the book list. So one problem is what happens if that book is already issued to someone? We have set foreign key constraint in issue table. If you look at the uh, SQL table, here we have issue table. Instead of that issue table, we have specified foreign key constraint. I mean, this book ID is actually referring to the ID in the table book. So if it delete something in this table, it will affect this one because this is not just a value. There is a relationship between this value and that table value. So the thing is, this book Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling is already issued to a member. So if you type B100, which is the book ID of Harry Potter, you can see that it is it is issued to genuine horror in and so my number and so. So I want to suppose if I try deleting this book Harry Potter right now. And yes, I want to delete it. Harry Potter could not be deleted. If we go uh, to the output and, and look at this, you can see that delete on book caused a violation of foreign key constraint because that is the beauty of using database. It checks whether there is a constraint on the raw bit that is being deleted and throws an exception if there is. So before allowing the book to be deleted, we have to make sure that it is not issued to someone else already. So let's see how we can do that. So handle book delete option is the one that we are using for deletion. So here we are. If answer equals get and what type is that, that part is okay. So here we have to do it. So before giving the confirmation, are you sure I want to delete the book? We have to make sure that this book is not issued to someone else. So in say that I handler right now, I'm going to write another method public then uh, something like boolean delete uh, is book already issued then i pass the book object so book, book. now we need to check only one table can i guess which table it is yes that issue table definitely this issue table so what I'm going to do is, if you check the structure, there is book ID, then issue. So all we have to do is check whether there is an entry in the issue database with the book ID equals to the book that is we are going to delete right now. So I'm going to construct the query. Just I, I can actually copy and paste this because it is going to be very much similar. So string instead of delete statement, I am going to use uh, I'm going to use uh, just, uh, I mean, checks SPMT. I mean, uh, the variable name should reflect the purpose. Uh, so, check statement select. Uh, I'm going to use the count star. This will return the number of rows. So, select count star from issue. Then where book ID equals question mark. So we are here delete book. So where book ID equals question mark that is deliver so book ID equals question mark. So if you check this string table name equals issue, there is book ID and we are checking against that entry. Right? So book ID equals uh, question mark then prepared statement stmt equals we are preferring a statement from this uh, string then stmt dot set string here we can set the same i mean uh, this book id equals the id field from the book it result equal stmt dot execute update we cannot do that because uh, we are not checking we are not updating any rows we are just using the selection so what we have to do is we have to fetch the count from the database. I mean the count star will be fetching number of rows that is present in the table called issue with the column book ID equals our book ID. 
So what I am going to do is I am going to execute the statement and take the result set object. So result set r is equals stmt dot execute query. Remember this is a query. So if uh, the RS will be having the result of this uh, query. So the next thing we have to do is if RS dot next. I mean, if your query execution was success, then RS will be having the next value. Then we take the count. Int count equals RS dot get int because it is an integer. RS dot get int. Then we need the first column. Remember, it is one, not zero. For debugging purposes, I am going to add this. I am going to put an S out here with this count so we can see what is the value exactly and I don't need this part then I am simply going to check the value of count if the count is greater than zero which means there is one or more rows in said issues uh, issue table a single book cannot be delete issued twice so there is there will be only one entry anyway if there is more than one ent zero entry then we return true which means the book is already issued and we cannot delete it right now else we go to the else part then we return false which means book is not already issued now let us run the program gc root so going to view book section and I am going to delete our Harry Potter book. Cannot be deleted. This book is already issued and cannot be deleted because it will return the value 1. Because there is one row in the issue table. And if I try to delete this book origin, then it is 0. So that return is not executed and we are going to the next step of confirmation. Are you sure want to delete the book origin? For now, I am not deleting it, so delete process cancel. So that's it, guys. That's how you uh, check before doing a deletion. We have to do it. Uh, now, uh, for simplifying this part, we can just use the return here. I mean, for simplifying the code, we can just use return count greater than zero. So we don't want anything. I mean, if the count is greater than zero, we will return true, which is his book already issued, which will, be all, which will be true. So that's a part. So as always, thank you for watching this video. Like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos like this in the future. Thank you very much.